Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year to all of you. It is officially 2020. Wow, that's insane. The fact that I'm turning 23 this year, oh my God. I also wanna know if any of you guys are doing like 2020 New Year's resolutions. I don't think I've ever done a New Year's resolution in my entire life. I'm really thinking about it and I don't remember ever making a single New Year's resolution and if it was, it was when I was either blackout drunk, <laughs> we love high school Diana, or it was when I was like seven years old or something like that and I just can't, my brain does not reach that far back in time. And I don't think I'm gonna be doing New Year's resolutions this year either. I'm gonna try to be a little less self-deprecating, but being self-deprecating is also part of my own humor, but we're gonna try our best. But I figured I would kick off the new year with a full day of eating, what I eat in a day, what I ate today. There's so many different titles that people use, honestly. But you guys seem to really enjoy these videos and I feel like I haven't done just a chill what I eat in a day in a little while. I think it's been quite a few weeks, maybe a month, who knows. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And if you end up enjoying this video and you want me to do more videos like this, make sure to give it a Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you absolutely hate this video and you don't want me to make another what I eat in a day ever again, make sure to give this video a thumbs down because that's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress. But yeah, I am wearing contacts as you guys can see. I've kind of been into colored contacts lately. I just think they're really fun to play around with. So I'm wearing these and they're from, I'm gonna put the company right here and I have a bunch of colored contacts from them. I really like them. I just have a really hard time with putting contacts in. I don't know how people do it all, like every day. What happens is it will like, the bottom will stick to my eye, but then as I move my finger away, it just sticks to my finger and I'm stuck there doing colored contacts for 30 minutes. And it makes me want to die. So please, if you have any tips, comment them down below. And I've done the whole thing where like, I make sure my finger is dry and everything like that, but I feel like since the colored contact is on my finger, it gets wet inevitably, so I... I don't know what to do. Also, update, I finally got glasses. I have needed glasses for over a year now, but I remember being in class and sitting front row and I was like squinting so hard. And I remember my professors being like, Diana, are you okay? And I'm like, oh yeah, fine, just, just blind. So I finally got glasses, yay! And it is crazy. I see my world in like 1080p. No, not even, not even. It's like 4k. I never realized how blind I was until I put the glasses on and I take them off and everything just becomes a blur. It's absolutely insane. I can't believe people just see like that all the time. Blows my mind. I'm really going off on a tangent. I apologize. What I eat in a day. Right. Let's just make some breakfast, shall we? I really just don't feel like cooking oatmeal. Y'all know I love oatmeal more than anything, but I just don't. I don't feel like cooking, honestly. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have some yogurt with some fruit and granola. So let's put that together, shall we? I still have to figure out like how to use this tripod. I'm having a difficult time because I am incompetent. Cause I wanna move you guys like over here, but the island is in the way. So we're just, I hope I don't get like a nip slip. Oh my God, ah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so here are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. This is the yogurt that I usually use. This is not even my favorite yogurt. My favorite yogurt is the for forager, forager cashew yogurt, but I can never find it in like a big tub. I can only find it in the small little like single serving things. And I feel like those are so unnecessary. Like I'm just, it's so much easier to get the full tub. And it's just frustrating. You know what I mean? And then I'm also going to add some of this Vivo Life raw plant protein. And um, it's in the flavor of banana and cinnamon. I really like this flavor. I am not sponsored like the rest of vegan YouTube, unfortunately, but I used Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Um, I used her discount code, which I think gets you 10% off or something like that. And this doesn't come with a scoop. So I'm just, I don't know. I kind of just eyeball it. I'm also going to add some chia seeds as well. Some cinnamon. And then you just kind of mix this up until it's all mixed together. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then I'm going to add an apple and a banana as well. Those are my fruits of choice. And I don't think I've ever tried a pink lady apple, but these were so cute. I saw them at Whole Foods. Look at how cute they are. They're so little. I couldn't resist buying them. So I got like 10. <laughs> Let's try it. 
try this. Mm, they're good. Not my favorite apple. My favorite apples are still the Gal apple and Envy apples. I love those. But these are good. This banana is ready to go. Now I'm going to add some Kamut, Kamut puffs. And then I'm also going to add this granola from Trader Joe's. It's the ancient grains and nuts granola. I really like this granola. I think it tastes so good. Okay, and that is my breakfast. What the hell are you focusing on, camera? So this is my breakfast right here. It looks, it's like covered with granola, I know, but it's gonna be delicious, I swear. I think I'm also gonna make some tea once I'm done with this, so I'll see you guys when I'm making that. Okay, and we are back. Yes, I changed, what was that? I changed my shirt, Stan Turogi Shoto. I love him, he's my favorite Boku no Hero character. And yeah, I change multiple times throughout the day. Sometimes it's two times, sometimes it's 10 times. Who knows? It's different every day. But I'm getting a little hungry. I'm hungry, but like I really don't feel like making anything. You know that feeling? You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna have a sandwich, but what kind of sandwich? I have zero idea. So I don't know why I decided to start filming when I don't even know what I'm gonna have for lunch, but here we are. I did end up making tea. I don't know if that was obvious already, but what should I have, y'all? What should I have? I know I'm gonna be using this bread. I love this bread so much. It's so fluffy and it's just delightful. <laughs> mm. Should I have a veggie burger? Should I have a veggie burger? Should I have a tofu sandwich? Possibilities are endless, you know? Mm. I have tempeh. Mm. I have chicken nuggets. California veggie burger? Maybe I'll do this. I haven't tried this yet, so let's see how it tastes. California veggie burger. Preheat the oven 450 degrees and bake for seven minutes, and then carefully flip and bake for another five minutes. I don't know why I was way over here. I'm so sorry. Y'all are looking at that mess of a fridge. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have one of these with a sandwich and some chips. I wanted to show you guys these <laughs> Asian snacks I got at the Asian grocery store. And they're like tteokbokki chips. If you don't know what tteokbokki is, it's just spicy Korean rice cakes. Tteokbokki, such a good dish. If you guys can get it, make it. Actually, if you're not Korean, maybe try to buy it somewhere. <laughs> Try to get it from like an authentic Korean place. Oh my God, so good. Look at them. Look how cute they are. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Put everything together. See y'all when it's done. Oh my God, I don't, this camera just fell face down. The lens is kind of breaking. Yikes. Oh my God. Ah, I love that for me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna have two veggie rolls. Oh my God, I can't believe that happened. That was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, camera. I'm gonna have two veggie burgers. I feel like one veggie burger is just not gonna fill me up. So I'm gonna have two and I'm gonna have some like hummus with it because y'all know I need hummus with basically everything. And I think we have these chips with it. My favorite chips are these barbecue pop chips. And I'm just so happy that they're vegan because I think they used to not be and they decided to make them vegan. They even have the little certified V right there, which I'm so happy about because I love, love barbecue chips so much. That's gonna be my lunch. Pre-lunch snack. I love popcorn. Maybe I should have one of those because I don't think I've ever shown you guys them on the channel before. Have I shown these before? These are so good. Stop focusing over there. Focus here. I don't know if I've shown these on the channel before. I love them. They're basically like seaweed chips and they're in the barbecue flavor. We've got barbecue chips, barbecue this. <laughs> they look really weird, I know. Mm. They look weirdly addicting. Yeah.
What if I just hit shuffle? If you don't know what this is, it's from the anime Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. Such a good anime. Oh my god, I am completely caught up with the manga and um, I now have PTSD. But I decided to get this just because... I don't know, I thought it was cute. And it does work, you can tie it on, I just don't feel like doing it. And I also feel like, even though my hair is shorter now, I don't really need a wig because she kind of has this. It's a little more orangey, but still, you know what I mean? <sighs> I don't know how many people would get that just because I don't know how many people watch anime that watch me, but I love anime and I love K-pop. Follow me on Twitter if you love K-pop and anime too. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Okay, I'm really gonna finish this. Y'all have watched enough of me being an ass. So I'll be back. I can't, this tripod's so big and I'm so small. Zoom the frick in on this sandwich right here. I'm gonna use my favorite hummus. This is the Cedars garlic hummus. And for this bread, for some reason, I prefer when it's not that toasted. I know it doesn't look toasted at all, but I swear it is a little bit. But I like when it's a little bit softer because this bread is just so fluffy. Get some hummus on there. I know two's not really gonna fit. Eh, it works. That is the most boring sandwich ever, but do I care? Nope. As long as it tastes good, that's all I care about. Okay, now we're gonna cut, and I prefer a diagonal cut. Ooh, that looks nasty. <laughs> I'm sure it'll taste fine though. Shit. And that is my finished lunch. Yes, the sandwich, honestly, doesn't look that appetizing. That does not look cute. <laughs> Ew. But I'm sure it'll taste fine. Let's do a taste test, why don't we? I mean, if you like veggie burgers, you'll probably like it. Hmm, that's gonna be my lunch. Hmm. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. Probably scroll through TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok because I love TikTok. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. I need to stop with the peace sign. Somebody stop me. Diana needs to be stopped. 2020. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad. I look disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, I said earlier in this video that I was trying to not self-deprecate as much. And here we are. Anyway, I apologize for the poor lightning. It's getting at that time of the night. It's not even that late. It's like 6 p.m. But I'm going to start making my dinner and I'm going to have some noodles, some noodle soup because I've been super into it lately. I freaking love noodles. I have noodles, I swear, like four to five times throughout the week. So I'm just gonna have vegetables, soup, tofu, noodles, kimchi. That's basically it. It's pretty simple. These are the noodles that I like to use. I get them at the Asian grocery store. I showed you guys what the Asian grocery store looks like in my previous video, but that's where I always get my noodles and they look like this and they're super good. I would film the entire process, but my battery's dying and I'm a bad YouTuber and I didn't charge it while I was in between meals. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay.
Okay, so I just finished my dinner. It was delicious, top tier, would recommend to a friend. And now I'm going to be having dessert. And these are dark chocolate pretzels that I get from Sprouts and they're super good. It's really hard to find vegan dark chocolate pretzels. You'd be surprised. I love these so much. Mm. But I'm going to have a few of these and then that's gonna be it for me tonight, which also means that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course give it a thumbs down if you hated it because that's okay too. By the way, I, I know I took out my contacts. They were bothering me too much. Moving on with the outro. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content. Bye yours truly. If you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You're valid and I love you. I hope to have an amazing 2020 with all of you and hopefully more people. Maybe. I really love you guys and appreciate you so much. Thank you for making 2019 worth living. And I don't know how I would have gotten through it without you. I love you guys. Bye.